You want it to look cold and inviting and tasty. It's pretty simple. (laughs) The process to get to that is not so simple. Where did this bottle come from? Did you just yank it out of the cooler? You know, has it got condensation in the hot summer sun? Ice dripping down the side of it. When you look at a bottle, it looks back at the room around you. So what you got to do is control what the bottle is seeing. If somebody sees a good bottle shot, it probably goes unnoticed. You know, they're not seeing that I've moved around the condensation with a toothpick, that I added the little chunk of ice at the bottom corner of the bottle. What they're just seeing is cold and refreshing and inviting, and they want to buy it. We're used to seeing perfection all the time, especially in commercial photography. Some of the beer images may be displayed up to eight feet tall on the side of a beer truck. And when you see something blown up that big, it's got to be perfect. After all the styling is done, all the images are captured, get back to the computer and I'm retouching and compositing multiple frames to create this beautiful beer image. And I'm getting thirsty. That's a good sign. I love local craft beer. And part of that is respecting the process of what they do. They've had it designed by professionals They've had the beer made by professionals. It's the final step in showing the world your product is this photograph. And uh, it's an important piece of the puzzle.